Ladies and gentlemen, I think it's time to be serious for once. Saturday night has always been a comical show, but this week, Corey and I, we knew tragedy this week, ladies and gentlemen. We've known a lot of tragedy this week. As you know, this year we've had a lot of trouble with Teddy Ruxpin. He's made us, all of our associates turn against us. We've had people try to get our show, and it's all because of Teddy Ruxpin, I think. And Corey and I came to a decision last week. Give me a drink here. Came to a decision last week. That we've got to make this cease to stop. We've got to put an end to the curse of Teddy Ruxpin. So we decided to take the law into our own hands. And this week, we assassinated Teddy Ruxpin. Now, me crazy, but is it wrong to assassinate someone that's given you a lot of trouble? Is it wrong to put justice back in Studio X again? People, I don't think it's wrong. Boy, I sure didn't cook that record the way I wanted it to be cooked. It happened Monday. The very beginning of the week, after all the weekend parties were over, hell began to be raised again here at the Saturday Night Studios. Corey is injured. He's in the hospital. Does this. Monday, Teddy Ruxman was caught into the studio. Yes, he was in the studio. And so we decided, that motherfucker's got to pay. He heard us. And he left. And so we spent hours with radar trying to detect him. And finally we found him in Arizona. He was in Arizona around Scottsdale. Corey and I, Corey and I pardon me, I'm, I'm just so upset from the tragedy I just can't help myself. ourselves, we've got to take law into our own hands. You and I, even though we're big stars and everybody try to mob us and try to, you know, suck our dicks if we got out, that we must go out to Arizona. We must be rugged about this. So, Corey and I got a shotgun together. Water, canteens, food, and determination. And we went to Scottsdale, Arizona. To kill Teddy Ruxpin. Here's the story. It was hot, steamy, in this place they call Arizona. A place where no man would dare to go without his horse, a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon, and a Twinkie in his pocket. The cold cliffs. Only one thing would help us during those long seven days and seven nights. We traveled on foot all the way to Arizona. We traveled hard on foot. And time hold was the only medicine. Time. Shopping our pencils. Green onions. I know we're back here, John. I know we're back here. All the way out here in Arizona. We have found our destiny. I know he's back here, John. I just have to look for him. We better find out where he is. Well, I know he's here. I smell his ass. I do too. He smells like corn. We walked. As far as our weary tr feet could travel us, but we were soon to face another terrible destiny. 
Oh, oh shit. shit. David's here. Jesus Christ, how could he get out of here from Arizona? I don't know. To Arizona? I can't believe I it. I hate David. You know I hate David, John. I hate of him. Of course. Shit. Old mo mozzarella shithead. I want to kill him. Wait. I have an idea. I was so panic-stricken, I fell down. Cole, you know, I have an idea. If we kill the footprint, maybe we can kill David. Yeah! That way we can kill two birds with one stone! Yeah! Lee Rifle Man, cool. Yeah. One. That way, we kill two birds with one stone! Yeah! 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 Come on, man! Come on! Look over there! It's steady! Yeah! Where? I do not see him anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. My God, he's got a gun. It looks, it looks like he's enjoying a good cigarette and a soda. Wait a second. His gun's not as good as mine. I guess now we better. Oh, get him. Let me load up an extra shell for luck. Should I get him right now? You better before he tries anything. So you get a massive close up. We want to remember this for posterity. Okay. How close is he to the camera now? Don't you recall? We have no camera. We have set out on foot uh, on a mission Mercy. to get Teddy Ruxpin. Oh, that's right. There is no camera. I'm sorry. I forgot. I'll get him. Get him. Start playing taps now, boy. Long time for this moment. I want to see him die. Die? Die! Where should I shoot him, John? Anywhere you feel the need. All right. No, 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 no. Where should I shoot him? Where should I shoot him? Let's go look. <laughs> I told you I need him in the head. <laughs> that motherfucker. Yeah, it's about time he's dead. He deserved it. But he's not dead yet. That's right. Teddy never dies. Gun's not dead yet either, so I have to kill them both. For posterity. Good rifleman knows to take his gun off safety before firing. Okay. Bye, Teddy. It was fun. Oh my God! Fucker Teddy did to me, that little dick. But John, the curse isn't over until the voice is destroyed. No, 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 no. Bye! Oh. See you next year, Teddy. Or maybe not. No, 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 no. Oh. He was All of this just goes to show, you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Time doesn't pay. Ka. Ka. Cool. Ka. Oh! Ka! Ka! Shit. Ka. Cool. Alright! I wanna... I wanna shoot pigeons, man, okay? 
All right. Okay. Pull. Shit, I missed. Damn it. Shit. Corey, Corey. What? Listen, you can't do it. Why? Fail. Let me do it. I, I think I can do it. Okay. Okay. Watch a pro. All right. Watch a pro that knows what he's doing. Okay, John. The God that's the only God. I know I can shoot him. And the shotgun put John through. God damn it, the rifle didn't put me through, the fucker. God damn it. <laughs> Dumbass. Shit, he's running up the mountain! We gotta catch him, John! We gotta get him! Motherfucker! Close enough, we can get him now! Well, just a second! Man, man. Get him? Yeah. Oh, get him. Yeah! How many shots does it take to kill him? A gross amount. Man. Oh, come on, we gotta get him. Get him. Oh. oh, there he is in the tree. Should I get him? Oh, get him. All right. Get him. Here he goes. Say bye bye to Teddy forever. And the down filled the sky with wonderful feelings and cool shit. His intestines. Yes, intestines. And other items. Yes. Cool. Oh, oh my God! His head is rolling away. Oh, shit, let's get oh. him before he goes anywhere else. Wait. Oh my God! It's already got up in the tree. How did he get up there? I don't know. What should I do? What you been doing? What's that? Get him? No. What? Oh, get him. Oh, that's right. Okay. Bye bye. Oh shit! His head's still in there. Oh. Oh. Your victory hasn't been won yet. Yes, his pelt is still in the tree. Should I get it? Oh, get him. All right, it's dead. Damn. It's a tough little hombre. Sure is. Wait a minute. What about his skull? His skull is the most dangerous part. Let's get it. Okay. We got him. We got him. We got him. Our victory is complete. Cool. Cool. Yeah, cool. Shit, there's a fucking wasp. I'm gonna Where? <laughs> it was right there, John. I, I'm not lying either. It was right in my dash. What our victory is, it's complete! Beep. 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 Now you know what hell is really like what hell we've been through this week. So remember this. Every time you eat a sandwich, you just think about what goes into it. Dang, it should be time now. Wait a second. It is. 
get. Jay Anson, not Jay Bradlock. Jay, make sure that uh, Sean does this monologue. I heard him just walk in the door. Okay, give my love to the kids. Okay. Is that a good monologue? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a great show for you tonight. Well, not really. I'm a little mad myself, but... I'm not doing this show. Wrong door. Shit. Do me in. I want to talk to you, and that will do me in. Here. Go. Is that cream on your lip, or you just have to see me? No. Listen to me. No. I think. No. 
The Brand Han Show should be a segment in the Saturday Night Show. The Brand Han Show? What the fuck are you talking about? You only have My one fan episode. club demanded. Now, Sean, now I've already... stacks of letters all over the place. Where are the stacks of leather? Leather. They're in my car on my stack of leather. Where are your stacks of letters? On the stack of my leather in my car. Uh, bring one in. My car's in the shop. I've already been to this fan club deal with you about it. In 1987, you said you had a fan club, and I said nobody liked you, remember? And you remember you cried? And I told you. Stop it! Shut up. about that damn fan club. You said you had a fan club in May of 1987 and I said that you didn't. Remember I told you and you cried? Shut up! Stop it! No. No. I'm not making it a part of the show because I, it, I don't demand it. Because... What? Because the, the curves on the street... So they mad! Here. Shut up. Maybe you want a Twinkie? Shut up. Stop it. It might make you feel better. Quit. Eat the Twinkie. Treasure. We have no show treasure. 
And if I was going to have a treasurer, I sure as hell wouldn't have you as a treasurer. We do now. Besides, I'm the executive producer, and that makes me eat souls of shoes while I'm promptly making goals. I doubt it. Yes. Get out of my set. Get out of my life. I demand it. <laughs> well, you're going to demand something else because you're not getting it. <laughs> okay? No. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury and press, and the home shopping center. This is how it really should have happened. <coughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the way it should have happened. Cut. <laughs> Cut. I must talk to you face to face. Oh. Hand to hand. Celia to Celia. Your love to your love. Hair particle to hair particle. Margo, this won't take but about three minutes. No. I haven't asked anything yet. No, because every time you do come in, you always ask for something. Wanting something for your greediness, your greedy heart. This? It's broken. No. My question no. for you... No. The evening is... No. I feel it would be a good... No. Measured progress, no. adventure, step in the world of Saturday night. Two. So right. So apparently, in, in other words, you, you want something for your greediness, right? Exactly. Um, I want, oh not my greediness, for my fan club. This, wait, wait, don't say a word. Fan club. My, I, my fan club demands that I have a part of the Saturday night show, a segment called the Brain Haunt Show. <laughs> I stacked a letter demanding it. <laughs> give me, give me, give me a letter. <laughs> I want a letter. Where's my car? Where's your car? In the shop in New Mexico. I'm getting it resold. Fan club. You don't have a fan club, and you know it. Remember in May of 1987, you said you had a fan club, and I said that you didn't have one. Nobody liked you. Remember I told you about it. And you cried. You don't have a fan club. Stop it. Quit. Cut it out. Stop it. Give me a letter. I hate you! Don't take it so hard. I demand it! No. Yes. No! You don't deserve any more parts than anybody else on the show. You don't demand it. Don't know that, that. That's past. It was last week. I you don't demand a thing. You, you don't have a so mad! mad. No. Ah! You're not getting so a damn bad. thing, motherfucker. Here. Why don't you have a sandwich? It'll cool your savage tree. Oh, I forgot to slow anything off this. Sorry. Well, eat it! I made it with, own, I made it with my own two hands. After I lubricated my car. You spit in this? <laughs> what? Did you spit in this? No. Maybe that'll help you feel better. Do you oh, feel better? Do you feel better? No. I demand it! Okay. Under one condition. If you don't give them to me, I'll quit. That wouldn't be a big loss. Anyway. If you don't give it to me, I'll fix your little chicken curry. Don't start it. God damn it. <laughs> I cried my patience just a little too far, and you're making me mad. I was like, you rubbing it. <laughs> Don't be talking to the boss. Don't be mad. Okay. Now, under one condition, it doesn't take up all the show or half the show. It takes up a fraction of it. Just a fraction of it. Oh, of course. But I'm not going to be your co-star. Uh, wait, I've got an excellent proposition. Just a second. Yeah, Marco. Could you give me the number of JJ? Thank you. JJ, can you do the Brand Hound Show? Good, boss. He said that he can do the Brand Hound Show. Who'll be your co-star? Because neither, I'm not going to be a co-star. Can you be a special guest? 
I won't be jack shit on your show. I'm in a hard week. I had to execute Teddy Rush for this week. So shut up. Fun. You Fun. got your wish, so shut up, Gal off it. I, I have no more questions. I have no more questions. I win. John Hahn was surprised. He was talking to his bunny. And this is what happened. This is the transcription that transpired. Oh, my God. It's going to be orgasmic. It's going to be so pleasurable that, that I can take the side of Pepsi can and crush it with my bear. Ass. Yeah. 
face the sole of my shoe. John, where is that stupid introvert and in person, Sean Hahn? Settled on, right? He's downstairs. He just got finished doing a bunion sketch. He's now in the dressing room, so don't act fast. So anyway, um, how's school going? I don't care. I'm not interested in that right now. You can handle college. <laughs> anyway, I've, I've, I've got to find him. You know what he did to me? Yeah, he, he fixed an instant carnation strawberry breakfast. Right next to my autograph pictures of Dwayne Hickman, Dick York, and Paul A. Partain. Can you believe it? <laughs> he made it right next to it, and he got just a little bit of strawberry on Dick York's picture. And Dick York, he is my idol. I'll show you what I can do right now. I'll show you. <laughs> Watch. Sam, I'm taking a strip. All right, right now, I'd love to see it, but right now, I just really don't care. Got to make a phone call because... Look, Sean asked, has, he has to do the brand Han show as part of the segment on the show. And we're having a lot of heat about this, so I've got to call real quick. So, could you make this fast? Well, we should all take time out to see my in person But it's okay. Because I'm studying, studying at and I'm studying quantum chemistry. And I'm going to make A's. And I'm going to be better than everybody here. And why don't you go do whatever you need to do, and I will get Sean Hahn in here. If you would call, please, and I will take care of it ever so personally and very thoroughly. I'm so cool. I'm fine. Oh, you're better than God. You're so hot. I've heard it before. Okay, let me call Sean for you. And I'm going to leave. Talk it out, but no, don't do anything in this office. I've got to get the crew set up for the Brand Hawn show. Yeah, Margo. What? No. Listen, uh, would you uh, get Sean for me, please? Please, please, please. Okay, thanks. <coughs> Yeah, Sean, listen. This is John again. Um, listen, <laughs> what I thought we would do is um, chicken strips here. Uh, yeah. You found out about the Paul A. Partain, Dwayne Hickman, and uh, Dick York. You got strawberry carnation instant breakfast on his Dick York, auto Dick York autograph, pardon me. And he's angered about it, and he has a bone to pick with you. I, I don't know if the mayor was or not. <laughs> But we can try. Yeah, listen, Sean, I'm not going to uh, furnish anything for the Brand Han show. You've got to do it all on your budget. 
we don't have a budget, I know that. But whatever <laughs> your money that you get, you're going to have to do it yourself because the company will not let me do it. CBS is trying to keep me off the air. Okay, do it. Okay, come down here right now. I cannot deal with this guy anymore. And you're all here on on the Brad Hawk show. You have to do it yourself. Find drunk coast. Well, we already got JJ for you. That's my tribute. All right, see you later. Look, I'm going to go. So, why don't you talk to Sean? Okay? See you later. Chicken you son of a bitch, you're going to pay thoroughly, no, thoroughly right. ever, so. <laughs> thoroughly. <laughs> Sit down. I've got something to pick with you, and it's not a bone. If it was a bone, would it have marrow in it? That is the question. No. No. That's I have a guitar pick to pick with you. Thoroughly. Look, just get to your point. Because I don't have time. I'm doing the most great, the greatest production ever made on this oh, earth. Oh, bullshit. You're an asshole. Everybody knows it. Uh, you suck, chicken strip. You went Kmart, you saw. You know what you did. Yeah. You got, what? Uh, you got Carnation Strawberry Instant Breakfast on my Dick York. Oh, grass. Dick York has such a pointy chin, it wouldn't matter anyway. It just looked like a booger. No, he's my idol. Dick York I'll give sucks. you my sample of him. Watch this. Watch this. Nobody needs one of your stupid samples. Sam, I'm home. Don't be using that witchcraft. You're abusing the power. How's Tabitha? That was wonderful. I did it just like him. That sucked. I did it just like him. That sucked. That sucked. This a Coke bottle glasses of yours. <laughs> anyway, and you did a Paul A. Partain, and you also got it on my Democrat copy of Dwayne Hickman, the only one that could have signed it. He was a to lie, was live from Dwayne Hickman. And I don't know where you come from doing it, you interpreted people, but you're going to have to pay ever so thoroughly from my body. <laughs> and now, if you don't think I, you don't mean I can, because I can see it through your coat bottle glasses in your eyes. Shut up. You're, oh, you're an asshole anyway. I hate to ruin my great wonderful light blue sweater and my beautiful cowboy vest. I want to be a cowboy. So, I'm going to stand right here. And I'm going to give you something to remember me, Ma. You stupid gay boy. Too far! This is for Dick York. Paul A. Partain. And Dwayne, Dwayne Hickman, we all know. What a dick. I am angered. Yeah! This is yours. Very naked. I was angry. Yeah! Cool. Cool.
Well, he demanded that he had the Brand Han show, and he fucked up. So that's about all it is. Anyway, listen, uh, listen. I've got some strange one on here. I need you to help me. I'm like, uh, something happened. This chicken strip like changed. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's just look at this. I got I got like a ripped up sweater on my desk, and I think there was some more on the ground here. I never look at it too much. I didn't pay much attention to it. But there's like uh, oh, there's a collar, and there's that beautiful short ass vest. You know, it's a real crime that he had to break out of something like that. But uh, I'll call you back a little bit later, okay? Okay. Sucks. <laughs> Wasn't too good. Wasn't my fault. JJ was supposed to be there. He's out getting an Oscar. Why don't you shut up? John did Yeah, hold on. He's being an asshole. I, the cat got shot, I think. I don't know what happened. You know what I mean? Listen, I, I don't know what John's doing here. I'm going to talk to you later, alright? Okay. Hold on a second. I want to tell you something. Come here. Fine. Yeah. Fuck you. I you didn't him. make up for that. You fucked up big. Fine. I see that. Yeah, I, I told him. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Because he's got a blue and white striped shirt on. Isn't that so cheap? Oh my god. I mean. Yeah. Put him on the phone. Hey, JJ, you shoe sole. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? What the hell does that say? It's a piece of paper. Well, I said on the phone that I was going to rub it in your face at the Brand Han show. It sucked. So. No, that, what does that say, though? What does that piece of paper say? The Brand Han show. It sucked. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what his problem is. He's being... I don't know. I think... Hold on. What's he doing here? Wait a minute. Hold on. Cheers. Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Yeah, he tried to unplug me, but I used my social powers to still talk to you. Sweet. You fucked up so big. You would not shut up. Your greedy heart. Your greedy heart would not yeah, shut up that. until that until my social powers. Seven tree. Yeah, he I'm was, 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 was I, 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 Look, you made your point. Will you give me? No, I have not made my point yet. I want you to know. Yeah. Yeah, he's kind of. It's kind of weird how this thing's on up, isn't it? It's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. No special powers. You fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you don't. I don't know what this problem is. He's being real silly, isn't it? Yeah, hey, he's trying to he's trying to take all these things away. <laughs> I don't know. No. Yeah, because I don't know. I'm using this to cover now. You fucked up. Yeah, he was it was weird, man, because it was. <laughs> I think you ought to know now that you pay the price for your greedy heart. You would not. You remember you came in and you demanded. Demanded it and you fucked up. I you're, got it. You were I got on your own and you couldn't do shit and you fucked up and you know it. And no, now you want that's not the reason I fucked up. I'm gonna rub it in your face. Brad Hahn show. Come here. It sucked. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? 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 Yeah, JJ? Look, you didn't miss anything, okay? No. It sucks so bad. Thanks. Yeah, hello? Yeah, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I wanted to invite you over for a little snack. 
No, you don't have to bring your husband. Yeah, we're having cold cuts. Cold cut. Jump. Must be pretty sorry then, huh?
You pushed him. You no, he, he went. Well, he went like that. He went two feet, man. He went two feet back. He stumbled too. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, whatever. Anyway, I'll so, tougher than steel. I'll stand there. Crime. What? Somebody there said you were crying. Well, because I was thinking about my little sister that died at birth. I have a bazooka. I guess you got that from James too, right? Well, the top spin, so. Okay, well, why are you in jail if you kill this guy? Well, they. Well, they took me to death row for a little bit, and, and so. You know, took me to death row for a couple of hours. And now you're back here? How'd you get out of death row? I busted through the bars. With what? A bare shoe strings. Oh, okay. We'll talk to you later. All right. Bye bye. God, he's so stupid. Hmm. Hope the apple sauce is good. <laughs>